Hello Cancer and welcome to your March 2023 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that came out is the sun. So right away you're starting the beginning of the month in that beautiful expression of uh, you know, solar plexus, uh, happiness, everything is clear. There's probably this expansion you're feeling within yourself. Very, uh, very good feeling here. Then after, here I have, whoops, the Knight of Cups and the Fool. So again, wow, either you're bringing towards something that you love or receiving it. There's a question of, you know, the fool. This is when we're jumping into something with fate. And the Knight of Cup, yes, it can be romantic, but it's also creative. It's also, this is like when we are offering what we love to share to the world. That's the Knight of Cup. Here's my cup. And the fool, and I trust that it will be received, that it will make the path that it's supposed to make, and so on. Then, here, at the end of the month, we have the devil. So, probably, in that movement this month, some of you will encounter hidden shadows that you didn't know you had. And others of you will find... Um, the benefits of uh, the devil card, which are discipline, focus, um, uh, if we take it as a Capricorn. Uh, but if we take it as the devil card, then it's really encountering a shadow. And it's, you know, it's not so um, awkward after the sun and the fool and, and a page of cup, that a shadow will come up. Because the more you bring a light into a situation, the more if there's something that cannot rise to the occasion within ourselves or, our, or outside of us, it's going to stick out. It's going to resonate in a certain way that we won't be able to not see it. Um, the light will be shone on it. And so I guess this is what you're going to notice, Cancer, at the end of the month. Under the sun, we have temperance with strength in reverse. So temperance, all right, all of this is within divine timing in a way. It's like if emotionally you were ready, but there were still... A little lack there having strength in reverse and under that the seven of sword with the emperor this is when our old mechanics are still stronger than us we've purified we've healed but the ego the mechanics the certain disempowering beliefs are still part of our mechanics and when it's like that it is stronger than our higher self. Our higher self that had the inspiration, the, that, that can jump, um, you know, into that um, free fall and knows it's going to be catched by the universe because it's connected with it. So probably you have this push and pull um, effect during the month here because as much as we have strong i see it yes it's there we also have the counterpart that is as strong which is a divine masculine that is very disempowering so for some of you most of you it's a reflection of your own divine masculine so maybe pushing back procrastinating um not daring, going all the way, going all the way, but not really, not backing yourself up in some ways. Under here, I have the Tree of Cups that kind of is sideways. It's not, it came out sideways, not down, not up, 
sideways. And under that, I have the Six of Pentacles. And so, all up, that would be, I'm bringing my cup out there, and everybody around me is appreciative. They, you know, it's in the beautiful balance of celebration, of joy, of investment, of, uh, yes, I am offering this from, you know, a uh, infinite place and it's balanced if it would be uh, reversed then you're coming with the most amazing intention creativity love but it's not quite received um there's still uh maybe old sadnesses there's still um non-receptivity or something like that the fact that it's sideways it's kind of it's neutral kind of thing. Some days you feel one, some days you feel the other. It It's flickering. And probably because under our devil we have the six of wands in reverse. And this is when we still haven't quite finished our old battle. Um, we're not quite at the... I don't have to prove anything to know the worth of what I'm bringing forward. Uh, I don't have to defend myself, protect myself. I'm not overanalyzing things in such a way that I'm not even doing anything. I'm not re-questioning all of my moves and investments and things like that. I'm back from war. I'm back from Vietnam. I understand uh, the lesson. It's on my head of the world card. And it's even on the sticks. And that's why people are cheering me. So here, maybe you weren't met with such a cheer as you're bringing this thing forward. And it's not met the way you thought it would be. Under that... I have the lovers and the king of pentacles. And so the lovers and the devil right there. That's why you're going to kind of be met by uh, this kind of a choice. The lovers is always a choice of how, what dynamic do I use? Do I use my old pattern, my old karma? Uh, because it's obvious that maybe you will not be supported all the way in your thing. So will you let your fears or your disempowering beliefs where he tells you this is all there is, uh, cancer, and just try and survive? Or will you realign yourself with your pineal gland, your aspiration, your higher self, and make that king of pentacle, that masculine, work for you. Make your uh, loving idea filled with faith. Make it balanced, workable, solid, uh, in this reality, fruitful. Make it a real thing. So let's clarify this for you, uh, my beautiful Cancers. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Cancers. For the month of March... 
Okay. Okay. Let's look at the sun. Why is the sun? Okay. So, we have it with judgment and the four of wands. So, the sun really is putting a shine on this option that we have in life to carry our heart, have faith, uh, rejoice in life, and so on. And as I was saying, if the sun shines and there is part of us that cannot bear so much sun here because it's been in hell for so long, it's going to come up in judgment card. And here I have the Pope in reverse. And when the Pope is in reverse, it's when these things come up, he doesn't know what to do with it. He doesn't know how to transmute them into light. He doesn't know how to use Jupiter's discernment to clear these parts of us, to heal them in a proper way and not let them be uh, stronger than us. Because he defines what is incarnated or not. Is my fear going to be incarnated? Or is my aspiration going to be incarnated? When I say incarnated, I mean is going to take shape in this material world. In a, in a shape of a, an actual idea or in a shape of a challenge, in a shape of a story. The Pope elects and banishes and has the key of incarnation here, of materialization of principalities or concepts or distortions or lights. Okay? So here we have the sun judgment right away on us. The things that um, do not really believe, because here we have the seven of sword, that we can live like this are going to come up. They're going to come up within ourselves like little voices and they're going to come out outside of us. Uh, and when those little voices in the mouths of other people are going to reach our ears, if we believe them, then we will fall. If we do not believe them, because it's not part of our beliefs anymore. Oh yeah, I used to think that I wasn't strong enough. And now you telling me you're not strong enough doesn't dent me at all because I know I am strong enough. But if there's a part of me that believes that, oh, maybe I am not strong enough to do this. When I'm going to hear it, it's going to ring true. Because there's a part of me that really feels it. A part of me that was wounded at one point because it wasn't strong enough. This is how unconscious beliefs of past experiments make our truths. And with the Seven of Sword, that tells me that uh, there was a lot of empower disempowering beliefs are going to come up. This is what it means. Let's look at that temperance and that strength in reverse. So it's like if emotionally cancer being a water sign, you've been healing, you see the bigger picture, you have access to um, greater knowledge about what has been going on in your life, but you're still caught in the mechanics of it. Okay, so you haven't quite gotten it yet. And that's why we have kind of a, see another mix here, justice and the queen of wands. So it's, it's almost like this is what I desire. Queen of wands, she gets us in touch with what we want and what we desire. But my seventh house of partnerships, of balance, of uh, knowing that, um, or understanding the balance of the universe here is reversed. So I have this uh, basic uh, belief that things are unfair and unbalanced. 
So what is going to happen about my, my capacity to put myself out there and bring my creativity, my heart, and so on? If I believe that the world will be unfair and unbalanced, I will fear it. Maybe I will completely disempower myself about it and therefore rendering my masculine that would actually make the moves um, paralyzed. Let's look at that emperor and the seven of swords. And like I was saying, uh, when we're in a situation like this, because you don't acknowledge yourself, we will have mirrors outside of us uh, that will show us exactly that. And here I have the page of wands. And right under, here's our Pope that doesn't know uh, what to do with that. And so the page of wands is enthusiastic. It's, it's like if you are, you're almost like a Gemini here because there's a part of you that is uh, very enthusiastic. The sun is there. Yes, this is it. I, you got the inspiration of a lifetime. But when it comes to actually applying it, you're confronted with your demons. You're confronted with your disempowering beliefs. With your And these disempowering beliefs are about the fact that you don't think that things are balanced and fair. So during the month here, Knight of, of Cups and the Fool, it's almost like you're uh, ready to make the jump. Show me that. King of Sword. And here, the Knight of Sword on the side. But it's still shaky. So this month, sometimes you will have that, yes, it's possible, it's my truth, there it is. And maybe some other times, oh, I'm vulnerable to harsh, um, I'll say truth like this, because somebody's vision, it's their truth. Um I'll be vulnerable to this. So when you see it happening this month, uh, cancer, think about that. Oh, okay, there's my fear. There's my fear being verbalized in the mouth of my friend, my neighbor, my co-worker, my parent. Let's look at that three of cups. The people around me my social network. Yeah, because they think six of pentacle in reverse. Not quite uh, getting it, ace of sword in reverse. We're not getting this clarity of I got the inspiration. I have to know that I am part of this world and it is in its main interest of the divine to exalt itself within me. And since this is an extension, a material extension of the divine that created me and that is within me, of course, as it is going to pass through me, I'm going to be able to be supported and have everything I need from this outside world. And this is kind of a uh, knowledge uh, of the six of pentacle we are provided from infinite source that's why the guy is rich and that's why uh, this is free that's why these guys are poor because it's to show that they know they're receiving from an infinite source they don't have to pay it back. They don't owe anything. They have the right to open their hands and receive. So whether you receive an inspiration, support, uh, ideas, solutions, uh, concrete um, opportunities, and things like that. It's all the ways that the universe can give you unconditionally and you notice that these are two cards with scales on them 
So it's it's the concept of how it's supposed to work. Justice is ruled by Venus. And Venus needs to be exalted within you in order for this to be balanced, for your situations to be balanced. If Venus is not exalted, the principality of Venus is unconditional love and abundance. So if that principality is not exalted within you, of course, you're always going to suffer unfair and unjust situations. And when it comes to what you desire and what you want, the law of attraction will make that happen before what you want and what you dream for. Let's look at that six of pentacle. So during the month, this is going to be uh, kind of the thing that is holding you back. Okay. Uh, unconscious fear that it is not going to be met or received or that you won't be supported or that your own divine masculine will not support you. It's all about engagement. And here I have the king of wands in reverse. So it's like if your king of, uh, your queen of wands, the one that can align itself with its aspiration and uh, this is my desire, this is what I want, is upright. But the part of you that is supposed to back it up, yes, dear, let's go do this, is not backing you up. And that's why probably there's like procrastination. The page, yes, I'm timid in it, I'm enthusiastic, but I'm not out there with strength and courage. And yes, I am fearless in front of the unknown because I know it's like this so of course this is one of your karmas let's go look at that it's like a little Saturn lesson here for you when we're in front of a, a you know a challenge like this it's like a, you know in a video game you arrive in a challenge it's to unlock uh, your potentials this view this as the same thing once i beat that level once i beat my insecurities my disempowering beliefs my core belief that things will be unfair once i beat that i'm going to unlock abilities that are going to be very good for me and see the six of the five of pentacle you haven't quite uh, released that the unconscious parts are coming up to the surface things maybe you thought well, i was sure i i got rid of this here i have the ten of pentacle in reverse and i have the ten of cup upright with the devil and that is interesting because it's almost like Happiness and fruitfulness uh, does not go hand in hand with you. Being loved and appreciated and sharing emotions and at the same time being fruitful, solid, rich in every sense of the way. I'm not talking just about financials. Um, like if they wouldn't go together because life is unfair. And so if Maybe this is a fear of success. It can be based like that. Because if I succeed, then does it mean that, you know, does it mean that I was an asshole? Will I lose my friends? Let's look at that six of wands. And maybe that's the part where, you know what, you have nothing to prove to anybody. You have a good idea uh, the the... Your aspiration wants to bring it into this world. Bring it and have pleasure doing it. This is what it's supposed to be like. Why is the six of wands in reverse for cancer? You know, I can't be happy if everybody else is not happy. I can't be fruitful if everybody else isn't fruitful. This is just keeping down 
everybody to the same level. You need these people that rise up into the light and the, and the fulfillment. And if at the beginning they're just lighthouse, then there shall be lighthouses for the others to make the same path. But to put a lampshade on you, not to offend anybody or out of fear uh, of losing people around you, that is not serving the divine. Ah, see? There it is, upright with the two of cups. The people that actually appreciate you. When you love somebody, you want them to fly high, have success, be happy. Uh, you will rejoice with them. If you are miserable inside of you and you will feel bad if somebody is happy or gets out of the situation that you used to be both together in, then that is not somebody that actually cared for you. That was somebody that maybe was codependent on your misery. This is maybe something, uh, and here I have the Seven of Swords in reverse, uh, because as we're talking, there's parts of you that are like, yeah, I don't have to justify my ambitions. I don't have to justify uh, having success. Ah, there we go. That was quick. I don't have to be conflicted about it. If people disagree, it's going to be uh, their problem. But you got to trust the aspiration you got. And you got to trust yourself. Because here with the lovers... Ooh, that was quick. Okay. With the lovers and the king of pentacle, you're going to be uh, able to actually make a decision here. A decision that will release you of old anxieties. But here I have the empress in reverse. So maybe it won't be so quick at the end of the month for some of you yes maybe at the end of the month you're gonna be you know what i am abundance and unconditional love venus will be exalted within me i will not accept anything else but this kind of mirror from my friends from my family from the universe i'm gonna have power over what i elect it is going to be as above, so below. And what is going to be above will not be filtered by my mechanics, my fear, and my ego. It's going to arrive directly in my higher self. And I'm going to act upon it. So, it's up to you, my beautiful cancers. But you are going to face your fears this month fake facing your fears so that is your reading for the month of um, march and thank you for watching sharing commenting uh, if you want a private reading there's a website below um you just go there everything is there the schedule the, you look at the different readings and and so on um Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Also, we have the beautiful uh, spring equinox uh, around the 21st of March. And, you know, that's a beautiful time to actually bring the balance between our feminine and our masculine, between the shadow and the light. So if things from the unconscious comes up, may your consciousness Rise them into the light to bring harmony. And on this, namaste. And I'll see you next month.